Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everyone is doing well. Oops, got a couple cards overturned there. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area of your life. I'm also, uh, <laughs> I think that one wanted to come out. I'm also giving away one free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter my giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. So with that, Taurus, your cards are already wanting to pop out here. So let's start. So your first card here is the Five of Gabrielle. A challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you okay so there could be some drama maybe around you um, it could just be that internal struggle maybe there's something here that you're trying to figure out you can see the puzzle down here um, you know this person is trying to put the pieces together as it looks like here so let's see what your next card is you have the ace of michael so archangel michael right uh archangel michael protection here you have a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others so some of you you may have some sort of idea or an idea this is telling you an idea is going to come to you to help you with this situation to help you with whatever struggle this is it also could be that you could be getting some sort of communication with someone um, I'm going to say for some of you that could be a warning, right, uh, that there could be some sort of drama around the communication, or it just could be that there was some drama, right, and now there's a chance for you to uh, clear that up with someone. Or like I said, it could be some sort of new idea that you have. Now you also have number eight, which is the justice card. We have fight for justice and equality, rulings made in your favor, and don't give up. So your angels are saying here, don't give up. This is gonna work out in your favor. And it's also an energy to tell you to do what is good and feels good in your heart. So it's a balance between the mind and the heart. And so there may be some sort of idea or communication that comes through that's going to turn things in the right direct direction, right? Going to give you that justice feeling, right? That it worked out fairly for you. So let's uh, pull some tarot now and we'll see what the messages are. I'm going to get a few shuffles here. I'm going to say here too, this could be something that you feel passionate about, this, this orangish energy here, right? Uh, sacral energy, sacral chakra energy. All right, so let's uh, see what the tarot says here. What else can you share with Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? What messages does Taurus need to know? Okay, we have Temperance, Strong Sagittarius Energy. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Fool card. Okay. So we'll start with the full card. So I feel Taurus, this is going to be a situation. Um, I almost feel here with the full, you know, it's all about right having faith, everything's working out for your highest good, there could be some sort of new journey here that you're embarking on, and there may be some risk involved. Um, but intuitively, what I'm hearing from spirit is it's almost like I feel like, um, <laughs> I know it's interesting with the justice card. I feel like you're, I'm hearing you're going to get your way, <laughs> you know, and it's interesting because I don't usually get that with the full card. The full card can be somebody who, you know, they do what they want to do. 
right? Because they have that inner calling and there's some sort of journey that they need to go on. But intuitively, I'm feeling here that uh, with this situation, it feels like you're going to get your way. Now, it does feel like there's some timing here with the temperance card. There's some patience. There's some discipline that's needed in the situation. Again, you've got angel protection, as we see here, too, with Archangel Michael. You also have here the Six of Swords, and you have the Eight of Swords. So what I feel like I'm picking up there is you may be feeling like you're having a hard time moving forward, moving in a better direction in your situation because the Six of Swords is, is actually moving out of calmer waters, right, toward or moving out of rocky waters into something more calm. It doesn't mean these swords symbolize that there's still going to be some challenges or issues ahead, which we all have issues and challenges. But I feel like with this Eight of Swords, right, we talked about, um, what do we have here? With, withdraw from the drama of others, okay? I was looking for one particular sentence in there. So you may be getting yourself caught up into something. This also can just be around, you know, your thinking. Maybe you, you're struggling inside, uh, you know, trying to find the solution here. But what I feel what this is saying here, you're going to break free from this. You're going to break free from this. It may take a little bit of time. So with patience, with discipline, uh, you are going to move in a better direct direction. Now you also have here the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you, this is going to be around money, your wealth, career. Okay. Um, it can also be where you just want to feel more grounded just in general. So something here is about to happen, I feel. It's going to be the benefit for you because this is also telling me that you're very resourceful and I do feel like you're going to find your answers. Now, whether it's answers from a particular person here or you're going to come up with some sort of idea that's going to push things in a new direction. So let's uh, see what else the tarot has to say for you, Taurus. Now, like I said, this could be career. This could be a love situation, maybe feeling like a love situation. Uh, you and somebody aren't on the same page. But let's see what else uh, the tarot has to say for you, Taurus. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Very nice. The Empress. See, it works out. King of Pentacles. It works out good for you. And that's what I said. I almost feel like you're going to get your way in some sort of, some way, shape, or form. <laughs> okay? So some of you, it may be around money. It may be around career. As I said, I felt an energy where maybe you're going to uh, start, you know, you're going to get to a place where you feel more grounded. Maybe you've been dealing with some, some rocky stuff or, you know, having some challenges in money or career, or even a love situation. It shows me you're going to get to this stable place here as the King of Pentacles. Now, you also look what's below that. You have the Two of Cups. So some of you, it definitely is around a love relationship, but it also can be, um, you know, anybody that you have a relationship. It could be a friend, family member. Like I said, there could be some drama, some communication coming. But... I'm also going to say um, that you have the King of Swords here, you have the Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. So with this Queen of Swords here is right next to the Ace of Michael, of Michael. So I feel like within time here, with patience, with discipline here, you're either going to get that idea or you're going to communicate here with someone. But I also see you here protecting your heart doing what's best for you, being logical, using discernment here in this situation. You also have here the Page of Swords. Okay, so there may be something here that, um, you know, it's interesting. I'm getting two messages. For some of you, there may be something here you're needing to research or investigate, and that can be that idea. For some of you, I'm getting an energy with this, um, this page of swords, okay, 
I feel like this could be somebody that you've had some on and off communication. This person I see here, you're getting some communication from. And I do feel like um, that you and this person are going to be able to get past maybe something here that was tough or rocky. And it could be a friendship, it could be a child, and like I said, it could be a love situation. It does feel like this person here with the page is somebody a bit younger, um, but it doesn't have to be. You also have here the Ace of Pentacles and you have the Empress. This is what's, what's nice. This is telling me here there is the potential here for long-term stability, security. Okay, so like I said, it could be around your money. Um, but there is a birth of something here that's about to happen with the Empress. So whether, right, this is some sort of new idea that takes you out of a place where you've been struggling, right, or maybe that communication. I'm going to say some of you with the Justice card, this could even be uh, some type of legal situation, okay, or something with documents, uh, maybe that you've been struggling with, but I do feel, especially with this Nine of Pentacles and the Empress, I do feel that things are about to change, and I feel there's going to be um, either new ideas, new concepts, or better communication from you and someone. Some of you I get here too, you may even have an idea for a business, is what I get as well. It's showing me that you're very resourceful. Okay, but whatever the case may be, I see a lot of potential here. So if you're worried here, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling trapped in your situation, don't worry here because I feel that you're gonna come out of that. Okay, so let's go back to this card, right? There's either some sort of new idea it says don't allow bumps to get in the road and clear up communication problems with others. So this is only a temporary energy if you're feeling like you're in a struggle. It's only temporary. And that's the same thing with the Eight of Swords. It's a temporary energy. You can't stay in that energy forever. It's almost like uh, the cocoon, right? Before a butterfly you know, hatches out of the cocoon. Uh, it's only there for so long. So I feel like that's going to change. It is telling you it's going to take a little bit of time, right? Timing's like the hardest thing here. And I wish I could tell you the timing, but I can't. If I could, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> I can project uh, a little bit here, but I'm going to say, I'm going to project here. Between now and a month, I feel like things are going to start to change. Right? That could be one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Okay. But let's see what the guidance is here. This is from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Let's see what guidance we have here for Taurus. We have the Sacral Chakra. Okay. Sacral Chakra here, uh, it's a number two. So you may be needing to make a decision. It's interesting because I brought up the Sacral Chakra there with the Five of Gabrielle. So th this can be, you know, about your desires, your passions, can't even be around money. Let's see what else we have here. We also have here healing begins. Okay, so there may be something here that you're recovering from, something that you're healing from. Um, you can see that the, the heart chakra there is lit up. But this is also, right, this is, uh, this is blue, like the Ace of Michael. So usually that is the solar plexus chakra. I'm sorry, not the solar plexus chakra, the throat chakra. So there may be something, right, that needs to be communicated, nothing, something that needs to be said. You also have here awaiting results, okay, the root chakra. And so this is, you know, kind of waiting for your seed that has been planted, growing, maybe growing your money. Also, you know, waiting for your investment, what you've put your time and your energy into. And then bottom of the deck here, you have number nine, which is seek. Okay, seeking uh, that knowledge, right? Gaining clarity here, taking some time to yourself. And if it's a if you're in a place where you're trying to 
come up with some new ideas or new concepts of how to change things, um, then this is that energy of, you know, just going within, okay, going within um, and, get, and finding your own clarity, your own happiness, your own peace there. So I'm going to pull one final message here, Taurus. This is a message from uh, Spirit and your ancestors. Let's get one message for Taurus. Dear Taurus, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have hidden, that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is try something new, do something different. You won't know how it feels what it looks like or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience that unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Wow, very on point. Very on point here, you know, around ideas, concepts, okay? doing something different. So Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.